I. Uh, the method I used requires two text files containing a little HTML and JavaScript. The first one containing the HTML get element by ID. That's get element by ID. Here's a, an example of how you can use it. This is at uh, www.w3schools.com which is an ideal program for showing you how to code HTML, how to write HTML, code in JavaScript. Um, and this is using the HTML DOM get element by ID, open close brackets. Um, and it often gives you demonstrations of how to use it. Um, so if you click on this try it yourself button, it brings open that window for them to try it. And in the right hand in the right hand panel there is a paragraph there, paragraph. And there's also a button. Um, so pressing the button changes the text in the paragraph above to hello world. So I click that. Click that says hello world. Um, and so I can also change this text here. So if you run that back, then I could just uh, add some text, say I egg. So if I run it, it says hi egg. If I try it, I can change that hello world. Um, and I can also change this text here to say hello PG members. And uh, if I run that, it says click the button to change the text in this paragraph, hi egg. Click it there and it says hello TG members. So just change that demo text. Right. Now in the left panel you have this HTML and then the body text. Then you have this first line um, BD I do ID demo and that's the first thing that's important. This paragraph has been given the ID of the name demo. Then you have the button on click my function try it. Try it is just the text that's on the button so I can just put my button. His participation at artistic events oh, has also up, been recognised with international awards. My button. So it just changes to my button. Then following that you have the JavaScript script function. It's calling a function called my button. And it says document get element by ID demo, which is the ID of the paragraph line above inner HTML and then it says hello TG members. So if you run that, do that. And then finally it just has the, uh, the end of the script and then the body, the ending body and that ending HTML text. The beauty of the um, www w3schools.com is you can mess around and change and uh, alter things right there actually in the site so here I've um, got my ideas demo um, so if I run that it says my ideas demo so that's the ID ID demo says my ID is demo um, now I just made three further three three functions. So there's three buttons. Button on click my function one. Change demo text content one. Button on click my function two. Change demo text content two. 
button on click my function 3 say demo text content and then the script says function my function 1 document get element by ID hello world then function my ID 2 get element by ID demo inner HTML egg was here function my function 3 document get element by ID demo inner HTML talk graphics and if I just try that I could change that click that that changes that text that changes the text again and that changes the text again if I liked I could copy this text just under the body section there copy that go into Zara create a rectangle I tend to use purple for my placeholders go into the placeholder page and I can just paste that text into there and go OK and then if I apply something or apply it uh, then if I preview it it will bring up this my ideas demo change the demo change the demo tick text to content 2, change the demo text to content 3, ok, so that's the way I can do it, you can also use that, save that text in a text file, but instead of calling it txt, you get the extension js for javascript, and this is what I've used, anyway, that's enough for now, carry on later.